Hi everyone, it's Kim. Sorry about the clutter on the desk, but you know when we're busy making beautiful things, sometimes it just stays messy. I want to start today with a thank you for my very first happy mail. Um, thank you so much, Michelle. I have to show you guys what she sent me. Um, some absolutely gorgeous napkins that I cannot find anywhere in my area. I live in the middle of nowhere, and I've looked at all two stores that have them here. So anyway, I haven't even had a chance to fully look through these, so we'll go through these together. And it starts with a gorgeous butterfly napkin. Has butterfly on each side. How pretty is that? Oh, wow. A beautiful wooded scene. And you know what I like about these? The ones I get at our dollar store, I had a pretty simple black and white one. The problem with that is they're only, they only have a little patch like this in them. And the rest of the napkin is just plain. So these are going to go a long way. And a cute little um, tropical looking one. See, I mean, even tiny, these have more space on what I have. Oh, isn't that cute? I like that. Time to make a tropical theme. My granddaughter loves flamingos, so maybe I'll do something with that. And a cute little unicorn. This is really pretty. I love birds and flowers. And since it's decorated on both sides, I should say all sides. Well, how did I open that thing up? You know, there's a way to open it. Yeah, see, it's open on all four sides. That's going to go a long way. So I'll go through these rather quick. I don't want you to have to look forever, but I'm just really excited, and they're so pretty. Some fruit, a couple of those, and a cute little butterfly one. These are pretty. I like to do these. These would make a gorgeous background on something. Oh, this is pretty. Purples and greens. Very pretty. And the, another bird. Love birds. And I like how it's got the writing on here. That's cool. And another little bird. Oh my gosh, these are so adorable. Thank you so much, Michelle. These are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited, you guys. I've never had such pretty napkins in my entire life. And a couple from, it says Paris on there. Now, my best friend, she loves the um, Paris or French country, I guess it's called. I could make her a little something out of one of these. I love being able to make things for other people. That's what makes me happy. Another one with butterflies. And some pretty flowers. And another one with pretty flowers. Oh, that's pretty. Some pretty pink flowers. Oh, lots of butterflies. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I want to do some of those stamps. And I think I'm going to do a collection of butterfly stamps. The faux stamps. Oh, that'll be gorgeous. Oh, look at this one. This is pretty. And I love pink as one of my favorite. Pink and green. I don't know. They are my favorite colors. But, And then I have a couple of Christmas ones here. And one more. Isn't that pretty? Well, once again, thank you, Michelle. I really, really appreciate this. You have no idea how happy that makes me. All right, so the other thing I want to talk about is I'm on an extremely limited budget, and I know there's other people out there who just got started like me. I cannot afford to go out and spend tons of money. So I look for things that I can use. And I'm not sure if I'm the only one who does it, but before I get rid of my papers, this is just part of it because I've already dug into it and I stopped myself because I wanted to show you. And I just look at these and I look for words or phrases or things that I can use. And there's not a whole lot in the classifieds, but when I flipped it over and I was looking at it, I saw this right there. Buried treasures. So I'm going to cut that out. I'll take the little, probably take the little question mark off. Maybe, maybe not. And I can use it on one of my pages. So I have a pretty little phrase there. And I can make maybe something with lots of pockets where you can pull little things out of the pockets and the little tucks. And I think that would be really cute. Now, okay, a bathtub. But I can take the word bath off 
and I can make something that says luxury on it. Maybe, maybe not. How about the word treat yourself? Maybe something for Valentine's Day where you're showing candy or something like that. That'd be kind of cute. And I like to use oddball things. Here's a horoscope. Cut these out, put them in the background of something, collage over them. Just kind of adds a little interest in the background. The um, Sudoku, you know, you can use it on the back of a tag or something. You can cut it up, maybe go diagonal, make a pocket, something like that. This is the solutions you can add. And I really like to use the crosswords. I make, um, I should have got that one out, a cute little tag. Let me grab that real quick to show you if I can find it. That it makes a cute tag um, when you sew around them. Okay, so I just made a cute little tag. It's just the, you know, a crossword puzzle. I wrapped it around, glued it on the back, and I just put a little tab at the top. Now, I probably will embellish this further. I'll probably put something over top of it. Maybe with one of those cute little napkins, I can decoupage something over the top. But, you know, I just wanted to show you some of the things that you can use that you might not be thinking about. Another thing that I use is box tops. Kind of simple, right? Well, if you look at them, you can divide them up. I can turn these into a couple little tags. This is the part that goes, you know, the top of the box that goes in together. Again, I can make a tag. I can use this as a template. This side's a little bit rounded. So I could put that over top of a corner and trace that if I don't have a corner punch. And this is that little section that goes like this. Okay, now what I do with this is take it and I trace it out on the fold of a paper. So it's, I'm using it as a template. I, I make a lot of my own templates and I'll show you how I store those and what I do with them. But I can trace it like this. Uh, you know, you want it on the fold there, so when you cut it out, it looks like this. And you can take it and make a little tab, cute little tab, on the edge of one of your pages, or a pull tab. And you can make this whatever size you want. If you don't want it that long, you can adjust it so it's a lot shorter. But it's just an easy way to make a template that you don't even have to think about. The corners are perfect. It's already made for you. I take all my templates and I punch a little hole in them like that with my little hole punch and I take them all and you can see here's other boxes you know how they make the little finger um, where you could open up a pocket this was perfect it just actually came just like that I didn't have to do anything it had a little piece in there that you you know poke your finger in to open the box so I can trace this and make the little opening on pockets and I'll take all my little templates, some of them I've drawn up myself, depending on, you know, what type tag I want. And I, this, you know, to make them exactly even, take something, fold it in half, cut your corner. Now you know it's going to be exactly the same. And I'll take all these little templates. And the reason I punch a hole, now there's probably easier ways to store these, but this works out good for me. And I'll take my big pile of templates, which I have quite a few here. I take a little brad, and I stick it through. And I just open the back, and now I have my templates. And I can kind of sort through them, decide which one I want to use. So back to this box. I'm going to cut these out. I want to make sure my lines are really straight. And now I have different templates to use, or I can use these as tags themselves. I can just cover them. The one thing I wanted to show you though on these I noticed is one side is rounded and one side is square. I could take you know the other one and just round that off. It's so minimal I probably wouldn't even bother. But I can use this corner on one of these to make myself a little corner rounder. I could just put it right on my corner. I can trace it and then just follow the line and cut it off. So, you know, things that normally would get thrown away, and here I could trace in here just as well as I did on the other one. You know, it might be easier for some people to trace the inside. And then I could make my little tabs. 
So anyway, something quick and easy. I wanted to show you that literally from trash you can make things. And um, I do not have a circle punch. They're very expensive, at least for me, eight, eight to ten, twelve dollars a piece. And I found this in my junk drawer. But when I was at the dollar store, I found them. So you can make all different size circles that you can cut out. You know, they're not going to be absolutely perfect, but I don't care if they're absolutely perfect. I kind of like them a little bit rustic. So this was a dollar. All the rest of this was free. And I just wanted to show you that you can get started for practically nothing doing this project. So I hope you liked my little video today and got something from it. If you save other things that I should be looking out for, please let me know. And I hope we all make something pretty today.